In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Greetings, good people of God, and welcome to today's edition of Catholic Meditation. Today is Saturday, the 7th of August, 2021. I am your priest and servant, Reverend Father Blessed Ambang Njume. The Church celebrates the feast day of St. Sixtus II, Pope, and his companions, Martyrs. It is also the feast day of St. Kajetan, Priest. Good morning and thanks for joining us. Let us pray. Draw near to your servants, O Lord, and answer their prayers with unceasing kindness, that for those who glory in you as their creator and guide, you may restore what you have created and keep safe what you have restored. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The first reading is taken from the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 6, verses 4 to 13. The responsorial psalm is taken from Psalm 18. The response to the psalm is, I love you, Lord, my strength. The gospel is taken from St. Matthew, chapter 17, verses 14 to 20. I read from the gospel. At that time, a man came up to Jesus and kneeling before him said, Lord, have mercy on my son, for he is an epileptic and he suffers terribly, for often he falls into the fire and often into the water. And I brought him to your disciples and they could not heal him. And Jesus answered, O faithless and perverse generation, how long am I to be with you? How long am I to bear with you? Bring him here to me. And Jesus rebuked him, and the demon came out of him, and the boy was cured instantly. Then the disciples came to Jesus privately and said, Why could we not cast it out? He said to them, Because of your little faith. For truly I say to you, If you have faith, as a grain of mustard seed, you will say to this mountain, Move from here to there, and it will move, and nothing will be impossible to you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The theme for today's meditation is Have Faith in God. Have Faith in God. Dear friends in Christ, In the course of this week that ends today, lots of our readings demonstrated men and women of great faith 
On Tuesday, the 3rd of August, it was Peter who walked on the waters on account of his faith. On Wednesday, the 4th of August, it was the Canaanite woman whose daughter was healed on account of her great faith. Today, as it were, Jesus summarizes the week with another call for faith. It has been indeed a faith week. In today's gospel episode, it is another man who walks up to Jesus and kneeling in front of him, he begs Jesus to heal his epileptic son. Lord, have mercy on my son, he said. Interesting is the fact that this man had first taken his son to the apostles, but they were unable to heal him. That is why he comes to Jesus. If the apostles had healed his son, he would not have come to Jesus for the same reason. And Jesus heals the boy. Even the apostles are surprised why they could not do it. So they cornered Jesus. Why were we unable to heal him? We remember that Jesus had given them power and authority when he was sending them out. He gave them power and authority over unclean spirits to drive them out. Confirm Matthew chapter 10 verse 1. Why then? were they unable to cast this out? Jesus tells them, it is because of their little faith. Then he urges them, were your faith the size of a mustard seed, you could move mountains. If you have faith, nothing will be impossible for you. This is the key phrase of today's gospel passage and meditation. If you have faith, nothing will be impossible for you. Dear friends, let us echo these words again deep inside of our hearts. If you have faith, nothing will be impossible for you. Beloved, a mustard seed is as big as a dot. A grain of corn or a bean seed is bigger than a mustard seed. But let us use what we are more familiar with. Imagine Jesus saying, if you have faith as big as a grain of rice, you could move mountains. Beloved, let us listen to this. Faith as big as a grain of rice. Faith that big can move mountains. So the question remains, Do we have such faith? The distance between us and the things we need from God is faith. Be it healing. Be it breakthrough. Be it the fruit of the womb or success. Whatever, dear friends, all we need is faith. All through in the Bible, great things happened to men and women who demonstrated great faith in God. Abraham and Sarah, the centurion, the woman suffering from a hemorrhage, even our blessed mother, the blessed Virgin Mary. Remember what the angel told her, for God, nothing is impossible if only we have faith. Now, dear friends, what is faith? Faith is believing God, a certain trust and total surrender that you do not doubt, you do not question, you do not worry, you do not fear. So today, the Lord is asking, do you have faith? True, we say we believe in God. Many times we say we have faith in God. But that faith is choked by fear. That faith is choked by doubt. That faith is choked by worry, anxiety, and sometimes despair. Then, dear friends, that faith loses its essence. When faith is clouded, even by as much as a dot of doubt or fear, it loses to become faith. It is something else. Faith is total trust. Faith is total surrender to God. 
Faith is belief and trust without doubt. So ask yourself again, do you have faith? And faith is tested when we go through difficulties. Just as gold is tested by fire, faith is tested by hardship and tribulation. It is easy to say I believe in God when the going gets going. But when the going gets tough, that is when faith is put to the test. Again, Jesus is asking, do we have faith? He's not asking for much faith. He's asking for little faith, just faith big enough as a grain of rice. Do you have that faith? Dear friends, if Jesus challenges us this much, that we need faith just as big as a grain of rice, it is because he knows in truth we do not have faith. It is easier said than done. Again, do you have faith? We too have not been able to achieve much or do much because of our lack of faith. Have faith in God, beloved, and nothing will be impossible for you. Nothing. That means faith in God can make you do all things. Faith moves mountains, meaning faith moves any obstacle on your way. Have faith, beloved. Have faith and you will see great things happen. Faith in God. Total trust and surrender. Without fear. Without doubt. Without worry. Without anxiety. Without despair. Let us pray for that grace that God will give us the gift of faith and that we will be men and women of faith. Pope St. Sixtus and his companions, whose feast we celebrate today, will remember the most shocking and glorious page of the history of the Roman persecutions. On the 6th of August in the year 258, while Pope Sixtus II was celebrating the Eucharist in the catacombs of St. Callistus, the Roman soldiers, under the orders of Emperor Valerian, seized him along with four deacons and decapitated them before the people. Pope Sixtus II is also remembered because of his efforts in reconciling the churches of northern Africa and Rome. On his part, St. Cajetan was born at Vicenza in Italy in the year 1480. He became a priest and spent all his time in prayer and caring for the poor. In an attempt to live like the apostles of old, he founded the Titans, a religious institute of priests, totally dedicated to evangelical living, preaching, and prayer. He died in the year 1547. Through their intercession, may we pray for the gift of faith. Oh dear Lord, we have faith in you. Help our little faith. Amen. We wish each and every one of you a happy weekend. The Lord be with you. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son and the Holy Spirit come on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Amen.